The underground world of Barcelona has a storied history, especially in the past century when more and more opportunities arose under the ground. The Metro, Barcelona's subterranean railway system, has its origins in the 1863 FGC line running from Barcelona to the then separate town of Sarriá, but this line was brought beneath the soil in 1929. The network currently has 12 lines stretching 170 kilometers and 193 different stations. However, down the years construction was started on various new lines and stations before the project was ceased for one reason or another. As a result, Barcelona has a number of unused stations beneath its surface that have come to be known as ghost stations. Tenim la de Banco, tenim la de Gaudí que no es va inaugurar. I després tenim la de Correus, que és una estació que va tancar el 1972. Correus is located in between Barceloneta and Jaume I. Bank can be found in between Jaume I and Urquinauna, while Gaudí is situated beneath Avenue de Gaudí, in between Sagrada Familia and San Pau dos de Maig. To this day, ads and political posters from the time that the stations were built or were being used can still be found. Tot el que sigui que estigui sota terra ens, té un, ens dona una fascinació especial. No? O sigui, el tema de les estacions és un fantasma, hi ha molta gent que comença a, a, a creure històries de, de vagons fantasma que passen. Another urban legend said that a train arrived every night to the bank station via a secret tunnel carrying all of the money collected at underground stations that day to bring us directly to the Bank of Spain. Not only metro stations have been beneath the surface of Barcelona. Between 1940 and 1990, an underground shopping centre called Avenguda de la Llum was one of the most lively places for locals to hang out. Bé, L'Avinguda de la Llum va ser un espai molt estimat pels barcelonins. Al començament de la postguerra, estem parlant d'una persona molt gris, estem parlant d'una persona molt fosca, molt trista, i la gent baixava aquí a aquesta avinguda de la llum precisament per veure una mica de llum, una mica de, de color. The Roman style columns at the entrance of Avinguda de la Llum can still be seen standing in the Plaza Catalunya FGC station below Carrer Pelai. El projecte contemplava inclús fer un camp d'esports, un estadi soterrat a la Plaza Catalunya amb una piscina olímpica. Now, thousands of people pass by every day without realizing how big of a social hub Avenguda de la Llum was for the generation of their grandparents. They would spend weekends there perusing the hundreds of shop fronts, awing at the latest technological developments in housing appliances, photography, and even laundromats. Hi havia dutxes públiques perquè abans la gent no es dutxava a casa. Abans la gent el dissabte al matí anava a treballar anava a cobrar la setmanada i per la tarda anava al que, deia, al que dèiem a posar-se guapos. Nowadays, the vast majority of the area that was once Avenguda de la Llum is now used by the Sephora shop. Van obrir altres espais comercials, doncs aquest espai uh, simplement va deixar de tenir èxit i es va convertir uh, en un lloc una mica gris. Llavors aquí venia gent molt indigents que venia aquí a dormir, uh, es va convertir en un lloc molt tenebrós, al final l'Ajuntament el va tancar. The next time that you pass through the Plaza Catalunya station below Carrer Pelai, be sure to take another look at the historic columns still standing and take in the history of a Barcelona from another era.